What up, squad? Today is the day. It is finally time for the Q&A for the 5,000 subscribers. Yee! 5,000 Rob Squatters. Yee! We're all here, and the POP is strong in all of us. And you guys have continued with me through this journey. I am so thankful for your guys' positive comments and everything you guys have done to support me. Let's get into this. I've read some of these, but I have not actually thought about them. So let's just get into the first one. It says, Sean Wright 19. It says, Q&A. Uh, when you're, okay, let's see. When you're able to be more mobile, what places are you looking forward to being able to go? Okay, so when I'm able to be more mobile, things I would like to go do is go to like, um, go out to do a lot of different things like go to concerts or travel to other um, states or other countries that'd be awesome those are the type of things and then um, just as simple as going to like um, stuff as simple as going to like um, a local like mini golf place that's got go-karts and stuff I've never been able to get in those and drive them so that's another thing there's lots of different things that I'm looking forward to once I'm getting uh, once I get mobile, but a place that I haven't been and people are always talking about it is Disneyland So that's definitely one of the ones on my main list and then also the wonderful world of Harry Potter out in LA That's another one that I'm looking forward to. So those would probably be the biggest two Okay, another one from Sean Wright, but this one says Sean Wright 45 says q a do you play video games if so what do you play i do play video games i've got a ps4 the games i do play are um dragon ball z fighters i've got call of duty um black ops 3 and then i also have a 3ds and i play pokemon x i play pokemon sun and i have pokemon ultra moon and then i also have super smash brothers for that those are the games i usually play um, if not, if not that, I'm on my Facebook and I'm playing um, Eight Ball Pool. I also have that downloaded on my phone, so it's a lot of stuff like that. I'm a huge Pokemon person, so that's mainly the type of games I really like to play. Is stuff like that, Pokemon. Okay, I can't really pronounce your name. I'm not sure. It says One B Beard Six or something like that. It says, "What is the first thing you want to do after you lose weight that you couldn't do before?" Um, probably learn how to drive just because I haven't been able to do that or learn how to do it and it doesn't seem like it's that hard I know lots of people that probably shouldn't be behind the wheel but they know how to drive so that's going to be the biggest that's going to be one of the first things that I couldn't do before because I did start learning when I was in Wellspring on my visits and then I stopped after um, after that because they didn't want to teach me anymore so that's why that fell off how many calories do you roughly consume in a normal day? I'm not really sure. I don't nitpick and count every single calorie. Um, this is from the same person, B Bearded Six, um, and I think it's somewhere between 1,500 and 3,000. That's what um, I'm guesstimating. I think it might even be less than that. But um, I'm not 100% for sure on that. Okay, it says, Lee's Production 7. What is the biggest mental or, phys or psychological change that you have had in the past few years? How has it impacted your life and the future and your future outlook? Okay, um, the biggest psych psychological or mental change that I've had in myself is, is finally taking responsibility for myself. Um... Before, I would always blame everything on other people, like um, uh, like the, the people that are bringing the food in for me, or like the reason I was lazy, or just like a bunch of different things. I was looking to blame anybody else but myself. I've learned that I need to take responsibility for myself and hold myself accountable for those things, and that's basically the biggest thing that I've been learning how to do. Also, different things that I'm starting to learn about myself. Um, in regards to getting discouraged or disappointed and stuff like that. Those are also things that I'm uh, working through right now with my mental stuff. But, um, yeah. I, I hope that answered your question. Um, Lee's Production 7. Um, okay. This one's from Corolla Noble 5. I've seen your posts a lot. 
says, how about introducing your mom, sister, and nephew to the viewers? I'd enjoy meeting your support system and your boys, the support system you're blessed with. Um, I haven't talked to my mom and my sister about them being on camera. My nephew, I've showed him a little bit on camera, but I'm not really, um, it's not really up to me how often he's in the videos or introducing him. It would be all up to what my sister said and then what the guidelines for YouTube is because I don't really know what those are and I know that there's a new little tab that says, are there minors in your video? And I don't even want to like risk anything like that. So I don't really know about them, but I will talk to my mom and my sister about maybe being on or doing an interview with for the channel I hope that is sufficient and then there's just a bunch of other things that uh, there's a bunch of other Q&A's that I just got but I didn't I, I guess I didn't highlight the name when I copied them so it says when you're healthier do you plan to work yes I do plan on working I'm not sure what I want to do I really would like to make YouTube my job and I could actually do this and go out and film like nature and go on hikes and do a bunch of workout videos and a bunch of different things like that for my job if that was possible that would be what I would want to do or some type of art and stuff um, I've been drawing a lot lately and uh, I've always enjoyed art so those are the things that I'd probably be most willing to do but I mean I'm not opposed to working I do eventually want to be able to get into the workforce because I'm surviving on like $900 disability right now um, so I mean keeping disability isn't really like the main plan like I don't want this like I want to be able to go out there and work and be a um, contributing member of society so yes I do plan on working um, are you planning to go back to school? I have, um, thought about going back to school and taking some type of a business management course. So eventually I'll be able to own my own business and be able to run it 100% by myself. So that would be my answer for schooling. Also, I wanted to go back to schooling for take videography or something like that, but I've been doing a lot of that stuff through YouTube. So those are my teachers as different YouTubers. Um, do you have a target weight? slash date um i do have a target weight it's somewhere under 200 pounds it's between somewhere between um 150 and 180 that's my goal just because my height at 5'4 my natural or like my healthy body weight would be between 150 and 175 i think so though those are the reasons why i'm picking that amount but it's going to be a while till I get there, but I'm not discouraged. I know that Rome wasn't built in a day, and I'm not going to lose this weight overnight. So, there's that one. Another one says, um, how are you doing right now health-wise, medically, any improvements with the weight loss? I've mentioned this a couple times in other videos. Yes, my diabetes is getting better. My breathing is getting better. A bunch of different things are getting better. I'm working with my doctors right now. I just had a sleep study and some other stuff that I've been doing. Um, i got to go get a pulmonology test done and I was supposed to be going to some, some type of bariatric um, just seminar just to get it started just so that when I get to the point where I need to have skin surgery I've already done all the prerequisites for that so um, I hope that answers that question this one says more mirantations half the test I, I can't I don't know just hey Robert are you working to get your weight down for possible surgery, what do you think of Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight's recovery? Keep going strong, but a big aloha from Hawaii. So hi, hello from Hawaii. That's what's up. Um, I have seen Boogie's videos. I personally, uh, right now, it's not really, um, it's not really something that I would want to do right now, or that I thought about in super in depth or anything like that getting weight loss surgery because um, from my own experience diet and exercise has worked phenomenally in the past so that's kind of what I want to use is the all natural method and um, when I get down to a point where I need to have surgery for my skin and all that other stuff then I'll definitely be willing to have surgery and stuff like that but um, as of right now I do not plan on having bariatric surgery at the moment so I hope that answers your question. This one is from my friend Deanna Anders or Deanna Alexander 22. You're always in my videos. You message her most of them, 
And um, I really enjoy talking to you. Um, you're awesome. It says we have the same taste in music, Q&A. Who's your favorite, your, your all-time favorite band? My all-time favorite band of all time is going to always be Good Charlotte. And that type of a genre, punk, pop, rock, punk, pump, pop, rock type stuff. Um, Fall Out Boy. But my, the number two band that is probably Blink-182 after that. Um, it's, it's a toss up for like a bunch of different bands. So it's mainly good Charlotte and then Blink-182. Those are my two main favorites. So I hope that answers that question. Props on the cooking healthy with mom for the little ones. For good life. Okay. Okay. That's not a question. Tyler Chris, what is my favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon <laughs> this is from my friend who actually is local to where I live and I've grown up with this guy. Um, his name on here is Tyler Chris 20 um, my favorite Pokemon um, that's a very hard question because there are so many good Pokemon out there um, if you're talking about Gen 1 I'd probably say my favorite Pokemon is probably Squirtle and the only reason I say Squirtle is because he is the first water Pokemon you can get and he's really detrimental in helping you beat the rock gym at uh, Pewter City so he's really detrimental, but I mean, all of the Pokemon in the first generation are mostly great. Um, the ones I always make sure I try and get when I start off is like a Caterpie or a Weedle or something like that, a Pidgey, a Rattata. I try and get all those when I'm playing red, blue, yellow, something like that, just to train them up and get them um, super high in levels because Butterfree, you can get them, or Caterpie, evolves in Butterfree very fast, and it's very effective against Misty's. Pokemon later on, especially if you get it to learn Sleep Powder or Stun Spore or something like that. So, those those are some of the Pokemon that I would go with in the beginning. I said, how long did it take for your food cravings to go away? Um, it it did take a while for my cravings to go away, and they are totally not gone. I still get cravings every now and then, and uh, I'm I've told you guys about them. It's a struggle. Um. So I'm still dealing with the cr the cravings, but a lot of them do go away as time goes on. I stopped craving cheese. I stopped craving meat. I stopped craving pizza and a bunch of other stuff, fries and all that other stuff that I wasn't eating. And I just started sticking to things that I knew I could have that were healthy for me and stuff like that. So that's basically what I did. Um, potatoes, rice, beans, things that were really heavy and dense that helped me to stay full and satiated so I didn't even really think about the food because my 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 stomach was full and that's basically what it, what it is or that that's basically what it was okay food cravings going away leggy Maggie uh, yeah leggy Maggie I'm pretty sure this is my Bay Area friend she messages saying Bay Area stuff all the time says as always I'm super proud of you and all your work success Rob Club my question for the Q&A is do you have any special plans for the future, career, vacation, etc., or something you're really looking forward to doing in the future? Um, I, I've covered a lot of this stuff already. Career, again, that's up in the air, but I would like to do something with YouTube or videography or something like that. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to going and doing updates on like Dr. Phil or something like that, but that might be stuff that I do in the future. I don't know, it all depends on if people reach out to me or how my video, how well my video is doing, stuff like that. Because the only reason I was really on the Dr. Phil was the show was because my video went super viral and I haven't gotten any to go viral in like that since then. So I don't really know, I don't really know if there's anybody else out there besides people at my channel right now at this present moment that are um, actively keeping an eye or tabs on me. So I really don't know about that stuff. But, um, vacations, I mean, I would love to go to, like, Australia or, um, New Zealand or something like that. I just always loved the, um, the stuff out there. And I, I always grew up with, as a big, uh, Steve Irwin fan, and I was, like, devastated when he died. And, um, I, I, w I think I would want to go see the Australia Zoo, the one that he actually built and helped cultivate and everything else like that. So I think that's something I'd really want to do for a vacation, but I also would really like to go to, like, Ireland or something like that. My friend went out there, and he was out there for years. My friend Liam from Wellspring, um, he was out there, and he was going out there every year for a couple of years and just volunteering 
or whatever he was doing, but it looked awesome, and the, it's so beautiful out there, so I think that's one of the places I would uh, travel in the future. Moving on to the next one, it says uh, Megan Finney 48. What is your goal weight? I already went over this between 150 and 180 pounds. 180, 150 and 180 pounds is my weight. Okay, it says Rotten Amber 7. My question for the Q&A is what advice do you give people or what do you advice do you give your past self if you could? Um, the past self that I could, I would say do not waste my time at Wellspring. Get as motivated and as prepared for being at home as possible because you don't you really take it for for granted while you're there you're kind of in a bubble and they take care of everything your food and everything else like that they keep keep they keep they keep the temptations away from you so you don't really have to deal with them but when you get back out into the real world and stuff it's kind of backtracks because then you're just around all this stuff and you don't have those coping mechanisms because you didn't have to deal with them every day like you do at home so that's what I would say to a past um, version of myself. If I could talk to my version, the, myself that was on Dr. Phil's show, I could say it get, it's going to get better, and um, uh, we're going to be here for a couple more years. We're going to be here for more years, and um, this is all thanks to all of you guys because you guys are the ones that seen my video originally and seen it made it go viral and everything else like that. So. The Rob Squad, even those very first Rob Squads that caught on when it went super viral, even if it was only for one view, that's awesome. It got me to where I am right now. So, yeah. That's what I would say to my past self. Okay, Reed Johnson 7. Okay, Q&A. The theoretical question. If you were able to travel back in time and see your family, friends, what would you leave Earth? Okay. If you were able to travel back in time to see your family and friends, would you leave Earth and visit Mars? Does the idea of multi-planetary species excite or interest you? Thanks, man. Much love. Um, yes. Um, I don't think I would go back and change anything if I could go back in time and, and stuff because then I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't have the people in my life right now that are in my life, and I wouldn't be the person that I am today without who I was before and the past that I've gone through and the journey that I've led to where I am now. So no, I wouldn't go back and change anything. Um, if I had the ability to leave earth and go to Mars on a planetary thing, I think that would be cool, but I don't think I would want to move out to Mars. Um, multi-planetary species. Uh, yes, I do definitely believe that there is some type of intelligent life somewhere else out there. I've had experiences of my own when I was a young kid before, anything else like I was just sitting at the park near my home which is literally not that far from here um and we looked in the sky we thought well, we, we we saw something we thought was a um satellite but it was moving across the sky pretty fast we were looking at it me and my friend and it was a dot and it was moving pretty fast across the sky and then changed from a dot into a line and then it disappeared at the end of the line. It was kind of like it was just a dot, a dot, a dot. And then it turned into a like a very long line. And then at the end of the line, once it hit the end, the whole thing disappeared, the line and all. It's like It looked like something went into warp drive. And I'm literally telling you 100% the truth. And that's like not even out of anywhere. That is literally from my own memory storage banks. Like me and my friend were just sitting at the park one day when we were younger. Looked up, seen it. There's been a lot of different sightings like that where I'm from. Um, out here in California because of the lab, I guess, that's close to here. Um, so there's always discrepancies on what it could be because it could be some type of test that they're doing, but I really don't know. But my qu your answer to answer your question, yes, I believe there's aliens, and I do believe that they exist. Um, like, I don't think that we're the only type of intelligent life in the cosmos. Like, it's so unknown how big the cosmos is so it's like there's no way to actually say if we're the only life but i'm pretty sure we're not so i hope that answers that question yes it does interest me um so people go too far into it but like some of the stuff that kind of messed me up when i was younger was watching the movie the fourth kind that was so ridiculous and i didn't even know how to like co cope with it like it, it stressed me out for a while and i had to <laughs> learn about i i was just very um, stuck after that movie. Okay. 
This one is from Sandre. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but it says Fajelving Anderson 5. Q&A, what is your goal for 2018? My goal for 2018 is just trying to live it as healthy as possible and to continue either maintaining or losing weight the entire time so that um, I'm getting more healthy. That's basically what it is. My goal for 2018 is to be a healthier me than I was in 2017. So I hope that sums that up for you. What is your overall goal weight? I've already said that. And did you ever think you'd be able to recover from your weight gain? like you are yes I did think I'd be able to recover from my weight gain because I've learned many things over my lifetime weight related and how to lose weight and all these different things and they're all still up here and I still have the knowledge to use them um it's just the mental part of it I've never actually gotten a handle on and that's mainly the thing that I'm working on now every time I go out there and I do some type of exercise or I move, I feel great, and I feel amazing, but then I also have, like, a drawback, what if I hurt myself, those are the things, like, the, the things in my head that, like, make me, like, doubt myself, because I don't want to hurt myself, and I don't want to put myself back, and that's kind of where I think I would be at, is if I push myself too hard, but then my therapist also tells me I need to click the part of my brain on that is uncomfortable doing those type of things, so that my body never gets used to doing one thing so um i hope that sums up that question again i haven't thought of any question or answers for these i'm just reading them and giving you guys my honest answers <sighs> okay q a do you ever work out as well and if not why yes i do work out sometimes i do not work out a lot um I'm constantly moving throughout the day, taking care of my nephew or going and getting the dogs or the dog, my dog Coco, food and dishes or setting up appointments and all these other things. Um, so I don't have a specific time that I set out every day to work out and film or anything like that. So um, I think that's one of the reasons why I have not started exercising, but I have reached out to local gyms, there's a 24-hour fitness, and there's a place out here called um, Lifestyles RX, they both have pools, that's the kind of exercise I'm going to be needing as soon as I go to the gym is pool exercises, and then branch out into other type of exercises, strength training, endurance, and all that kind of stuff, um, so I think that's why I haven't started exercising yet, I want to be in a better position so that I'm not as likely to hurt myself. So I hope that answers your question. How many subs would you like to reach one reach one day? Um, there's not a specific number I'm trying to reach or anything like that. I just hope that I can make new friends with you guys as long along the way, and that the the Rob Squad will keep growing, and I can help as many people as I can from me just living my life in a more healthy sense and a more healthy way. I hope that I can be an example to other people that were 600 pounds, 700 pounds, almost 800 pounds like me, that it's possible to change with the right mindset. I think that is more important than the sub count. Like, um, I, I, I'm just pushing the, the sub count. The reason why I was saying, like, once we get to the sub count, we'll get to 5,000. It's just because there's a lot of other people out there that, like, the milestones, there's like specific videos you put out there and stuff, and that's why I'm doing the Q&A now, because we've reached that milestone, 5,000 subscribers, and there'll be another something, most likely for 10,000 something, I don't know. Um, there's lots of things I want to try and do for this channel, but I just don't think this channel is at the right place for me to incorporate those type of things. Like, um, my one of my friends who's been part of the Rob Squad, he's one of my best friends, grew up with him, he's the one that drove me out to Santa Cruz in that video, um, went to the beach, um, he was like, well, you could start off with shirts or something like that, I mean, I, I would want to eventually lead into having my own merch, my own stuff like that, and uh, other people have, um, asked about, um, what's it called, um, I can't remember what it's called right now, but um, 
like the sponsor part uh stuff i don't want to i don't want to be the person out there asking for people to sponsor my videos or anything like that because i'm not really doing a lot in my videos right now once i get more active and i'm doing more things and um yeah once i get more active and if i needed the help then i would ask for it if i if um i was looking for sponsors or something like that but as of right now that's not really something uh i'm focused on or anything like that i'm not trying to generate a huge lot of money through youtube or anything like that i was just trying to get my monet my videos monetized so that eventually i could start earning some type of an income through there even if it was only two dollars a month or something like that just so that i was doing something with my time and i wasn't like as bored throughout the day and that's kind of basically what it feels like doing so once i get able to do these things and I'm losing more weight and I can go and learn how to drive and do all these other things. I've already started planning other things. I planned this thing with my best friend Brittany. I told her she's been trying to get somebody to go skydiving. I said once I get down to my goal weight, I will go skydiving with you. So that is another huge thing that I'm looking forward to. Um okay the sub count and then I've got some other ones. This one is from J Colt uh four five four what are your plans when you lose the weight? You go or when you get to your goal weight, I've already said that. Uh, what change other than weight loss have you been able or what have you been mo ha most happy with? Um, the change I've been most happy with is just my overall demeanor as a person. Um, before I was always depressed and I was always like trying to blame people and I was always like so negative and stuff like that. And I'm just not that person anymore. Um, I'm all about trying to help people and encourage people and lift people up and stuff like that. So I think that's the biggest change that I've seen in myself. And that's the most happiest thing. Okay, what is your goal weight? Have I answered that? What advice do you have somebody who's just starting out with their weight loss journey? Thanks, Rob. Okay, somebody who is just starting out with your weight loss journey, um, what I would say to them, this is the final question as well on here. Um <sighs> When you're starting out, I would say don't take on too much too soon because when I first started out, I got really discouraged trying to push everything and trying to be super 100% vegan and like doing everything. And I did that, but it was a lot of mental strain and pressure on myself trying to do all that stuff. I was like, oh, well, one week I got to do this and then the next week I got to do this and eventually I got to do this. And I was just like, it's not a race. It's not like I don't have to do these things in anybody else's order except for my own. And that's what I've been doing. I've been doing my own thing, trying not to hurt myself. I mean, I keep saying this, but I these are literally the reasons why I'm not going out there. I'm not putting these exercise videos out there. I hurt myself pretty bad. The one exercise video I did do just because I was trying to get some type of extra content. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to strain myself, and that's the biggest thing I could say is don't take on too much stuff in the beginning to try and be perfect because nobody's going to be perfect. And it's like when you do get discouraged, like if you had seven days good and you had one day bad, that doesn't mean that your next day can't be just as good as your other seven, okay? It's the consistency part. If you had six good days and you had one bad day, it's still only one bad day. It's not the end of the world. Continue the good days the next day. I think that's what I would say. We're we're getting so long in this video. We're almost at 30 minutes. I'm not even sure if I'm able to upload this video or not. Or if I'm going to have to split it into two. But um, I hope you guys like this Q&A. We'll be doing something else very soon when we get to the next sub um, milestone or whatever. I don't know if that's going to be 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, or 10,000. But we will be doing something. I also have something else I wanted to ask you guys. I've asked this a couple different times. Um, or um, actually I haven't asked this. But I, I have asked about my hair. If you guys would want me to keep growing my hair. Or cut it just because I do think it's getting really long. I'm probably going to have to trim it at least. Just because it is pretty long. It goes all the way down past my shoulders and into my my uh back so yeah and then um how do you guys like the goatee i mean i like the goatee and that's mainly what matters i just want to get your guys's feedback from it that doesn't mean i'm going to change it or cut it off or anything i'm just asking for you guys's feedback 
If you guys like anything I had to say in this video, the Q and A. It took a long time, but I hope it was worth it for you guys. Um, if you guys liked anything I had to say in this video, please give me the thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you haven't joined the Rob Squad, yay! And the Power of Positivity, then hit that subscribe button right there. Turn on the post notification bell right here, ding, to get all my videos as they're uploaded. Add me on Snapchat, Raging Robert. I hope you guys are sticking with me in the Rob Squad on this journey of life to find the epicness that will be whenever I'm skinny and moving on this path and just stick with me every day throughout this process. I'm still recording and I'm still doing all this stuff. I know that these videos are taking a little bit longer to get up, but I hope you guys are enjoying them. I really do this stuff for you guys and for myself so that I'm keeping myself somewhat accountable all the way through. And I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves just as much as I am. And yeah. All right, guys, until next time, guys, peace, plus ultra super saiyan, yeah, buddy.